Primer Select is DNA Star's application for advanced primer design. To get started with Primer Select, enter a template sequence by using the File Enter Sequence command. Use the Conditions menu commands to set restrictions on the primers in your project. For example, use Conditions Primer Characteristics to adjust parameters for primer length, melting temperature, stability, and duplexing. Select Conditions Primer Locations to restrict primer locations based on product length, a range in the template, or a combination of both. In this case, I'm going to restrict locations by upper and lower primer ranges. Then I'll specify the region of my template sequence I want to amplify. Now paired green and red triangles show the allowable ranges for upper and lower primers. Now to search for primer pairs that meet the specified criteria, select Locate, PCR Primer Pairs. This opens the Located Primer Pairs window. The best choices are shown at the top of the window. The bottom pane shows alternate pairs for each selected primer pair. Drag the magnifying glass to the left to see comments about each primer. Click the Show Alternate Products button to show intended and false priming sites, as well as potential product for each primer pair. The amount of intended product is represented by the thickness of the black bar. Notice that as you select less ideal primer candidates, the thickness of the black bar decreases. Some of the primer pairs have false primer sites, indicated by lighter arrows, and possible secondary products, denoted by dotted lines. To edit a primer, double click on it, and then select Edit, Work on Upper Primer or Work on Lower Primer. Here I'll work on Upper Primer. This opens the Primer Workbench. Notice that this view shows the length and melting temperature of the primer. From here, we can edit the primer sequence. For example, we can drag the arrows on the ends to change the primer length. Note that I've changed the primer length to 31 base pairs and the melting temperature has shifted to 77.8 degrees. You'll also notice in the bottom pane of this window that this edit has created an energetically stable dimer. We can remove this dimer with minimal change to the sequence by introducing a mutation. Here I'll click the glycine in frame 2. This opens a menu showing the triplets that code for glycine. In this case, the triplet GGT codes for glycine. Select Other and then select Serine to introduce a mutation. Click again and change the triplet coding for Serine to AGT. Note that this is only a one base pair difference from the original GGT. By introducing this single base pair mutation, we've lowered the melting temperature to 63.3 degrees and removed the stable dimer. To save this primer, type in a name and click OK. Then go to Log primer catalog to see the saved primer. If you have any questions about Primer Select or any of our other applications, please visit our website www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.